I don't know how to start this. I don't know how to start this video. Don't look at the mess. Don't. I don't know how to start this video because I don't know how to start this video because oh, I haven't recorded anything in a very long time. However, I have a story time. So last night I was rewatching all of my not all. YouTube videos, my little YouTube era, era, and I thought to myself, I really miss doing that because it was so fun. It was so fun. And when I was in Paris, every I, I recorded the entire day, and then I came back to the hotel at like two or three p.m., edited it, right, put it out at like four or five. And then went out for tea and recorded that, and then that will be in the next day's vlog, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, in a video, I was saying how much I love Conan Gray, which, the other day, um, there was the Conan Gray, uh, concert tickets for sale, and he put the link on his, um, in his story, like, a few days before. Okay, clicked on it, got the pre-sale code, done. When it came to the sale, it was literally 9.59. The tickets went on sale at 10. I had one, one minute. I was already on the website, so I was feeling too confident. So I went, no, in fact, what I did, which I shouldn't have done, is on Ticketmaster. And they fucked me over. I was trying to get tickets and it was the loading thing for like a minute or two. So I was like, if I don't get these tickets because I went on Ticketmaster and it was loading for fucking ages, I'm going to be pissed off. So I went on the other website that he put on his um, story, went on it, went in the queue. Good. Waiting for like five minutes. And then I got... Out of the queue, sorry, all tickets are sold out. What the fuck do you mean? It's been five minutes and I was pissed. I was pissed, I was going to cry, I was upset. This was the Wednesday, okay, last week. Then the general sale was on Friday, but I was so like, I don't even want to go anymore because I don't, get, I don't want to go. I was so pissed off, so pissed off. And then I kept checking, didn't work. And then he put something on his story like, oh, here's the Amsterdam like code because the other link didn't work. And I thought, let me just go back to the link and try again. And then I went on the website, two tickets. And then it said, two tickets are available. This is how much it is. Bought it straight away. I never put my card details in something so, so fast. And then I got the ticket. And then, I think that's it actually. No, I checked back five minutes later and they were all sold out again. So I think I got the last two tickets. I mean, what can you do? What can you do? Do you know how many people are probably pissed off? Oh well, that was crazy. See, I'm still pissed that I don't get to go to the Guts tour because I keep checking on Ticketmaster see if anything for sale, but there was only one ticket for sale last night. First of all, I'm not going by myself because I don't want to. Two, it was like 100 quid, which I don't really care because I, I want to see her. I'm waiting for those two tickets because I need, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. When I got waitlisted, I was pissed. Crying my, not crying my eyes out, but I was metaphorically crying my eyes out. And I was sad. I was so upset and I... But then Madison Bit announced her tour and I got tickets for that, which is actually in 11 days. But then I'm also going to see Taylor Swift. Exactly. It's okay to be jealous. It's okay. And then now Conan Gray. So I feel like I'm being, I'm being a little bit cocky. Like, oh, you want to go to the Madison Bit tour, Taylor Swift and Conan Gray? Okay. But Olivia Rodrigo, no. Like, I'm so delusional to the point where I've convinced myself that I'm going in. I need to go. I need to go. 
I'm not that pissed yet because the day that I will be going hasn't passed. So I've seen everyone in America do it. And every time I've seen someone, then I'm kind of like, okay, I don't care because uh, it's America. Not me yet. But I'm convinced that I'll go. Before the tour started, I was like, I don't need to go. I don't actually need to go, I'm fine. I don't need to go. And the first night of the tour, Guts tour, I saw all the videos and yeah, I was jealous. And yes, I was jealous. And yes, I wanted to scream. And yes, I wanted to scream and cry and throw up. And I was about to, I was so close. I've been checking Ticketmaster 24 seven, it's crazy. I've also developed. I spent like 40, 50 pound on beads for the Eras tour. I've convinced myself, I'm like, yeah, but like, just for the memories, so it's fine, it's priceless. I've bought a Nerf gun, but it's shaped like a pistol and it's pink. The Last of Us 2, the tattoo that Ellie has, I bought three, I don't know what it is, like a fake tattoo, you just stick it on, that's what I bought. Because I really want it, but I don't know if I'll suit it, okay, and I feel like it'll be a bit much, so if, because I've got three of them, I can kind of test it out for a while. I bought clear bags, and then I bought loads of pins to put around like the strap, and I've convinced myself, but it's the memories I need it. It'll be, it'll be, I, I need it, it's the memories. So I spent so much money on that as well. Yeah, yeah, but I was watching all my odd videos last night and I thought, oh my fucking god, it was so fun. And yes, I was laughing at myself. I was like, actually kind of funny. So it's crazy. And I've also moved house since then. So this might actually be a room tour, unfortunately, I'm afraid. Oh well. You know I could let it go, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried to strength to forgive It's gonna get copyrighted straight away I'm physically and mentally and emotionally back into my little YouTube phase Because it was fun and I remember that it was fun but then I just got so bored because I did nothing every fucking day Actually I'm not gonna show you my room because it's a mess so what I'm gonna do is tidy up and then come back. You can see that. Anyway. the carpet um i actually can't be bothered cleaning up i will put little like videos of everything in so if i'm like this is my bed and then this is my wall and then um this is the other wall with the TV, this is the carpet, and then, yeah, that's it. But there's nothing else. There's not really much to it. I really don't want to break this. Okay. It says The Last of Us Part 2. I'll probably flip the thing around. That's cool. My little CD rack. These little decorations. And then, I have this. I have this that I need to put up somewhere. It's like a little key, look. You can put your keys on there. And then you can put like sunglasses in there or something. But I don't know where to put it, I've got no room. There's literally no, unless I put it outside my room, but then what's the point? Because right now, it's covering that light. Because when I put that light on, it's too bright, so I've covered it. So I don't have to see it. This is like the big reveal. I begged and I begged for this. I was like, I need it. And I was thinking about it for so long. It's a Nerf gun. 
but it's a sniper. That's cool. And then you can take the scope off, take this bit off, then you're gonna have it like this. And then you can take this off. It's cool. It's cool. That's it. Thank God. That is it. There's nothing else to it. Nice. Yeah. Actually, I should probably get a thumbnail. Okay, that'll do.